now for our high school playbook Xfinity Fan of the Week. And here it is, Vince Evers, Fan of the Week. What does it feel like, brother? It feels amazing. We're out here against Menlo. I'm hoping we're going to get a win. Fan of the Week. Go Herd! Okay, now for the Xfinity Fan of the Week from the opposing team. Uh, I like this guy right here. I like this guy right here. You're the Xfinity Fan of the Week. What's your name? What does it feel like? My name is Amir Shakarov. This feels awesome. <laughs> A Fan of the Week. Fan of the Week. Yeah! Yeah! Go Bears! Right there. Right there. All right, now it's time for our Northern California Honda Dealers High School Playbook Game of the Week. As your vote sent me to Elk Grove. The Oak Grove Thundering Herd came charging onto the field tonight in front of a packed and loud stadium. Their opponent, the winless Menlo Atherton Bears. Back to the loud student section of Elk Grove because they cheered and wheeled their team to the first score of the game. Micah Williams with a 20-yard great touchdown for the Elk Grove Thundering Herd. Then on defense for Elk Grove, with the Bears going for it on 4th and 11, the Thundering Herd defense gets nasty and denies Menlo Atherton a first down. The Bears offense, though, finally got things rolling. After an Elk Grove interception, Menlo Atherton would turn that into points. They would get pay dirt midway through the second quarter with this end around run. Time now for a halftime update to help me out is Dominique Doria. She's a junior here at Oak Grove High School. What do we got, Dominique? Hey, guys, it's halftime right now. We're tied at seven, but we're going to find a way to win this game. Go hard! But in the second half, Menlo Atherton used their air attack to retake control of this game. Alexander Eichelman finds Aaron Becker in the back of the end zone for a Bears touchdown. For Elk Grove, they went to the air as well during the second half, but didn't have enough success. Despite this David Hale's hookup with Jeremiah Williams, Elk Grove falls at home to Menlo Atherton. Final score, 20 to 14. I think it's obviously a huge win. We had a lot of people step up today. Our defense was really uh, clamping up. They were clamping up in the first game too, so I want to give a shout out to them. Shout out to Owen Van Loban Sells. He had a huge breakout game tonight. And then obviously Alex Marshall, he didn't have as productive of a night tonight, but he really took the defense and opened up other guys. And we knew we were coming to play a really great team and a, a solid program historically, and their style of play is, is very distinct and it's its own challenge. So I think our team rose to the challenge today, and I'm very proud of our effort and the way we play football. In Rockland tonight, Rockland Thunder put their perfect 2-0 record on the line against the visiting Buchanan Bears there from Clovis. Let's pick this one up in the second half. For the Thunder, Reeve Sloan, he finds Gavin Correa on a little slip screen. He takes it 49 yards to the house. That's right, the guy goes the distance for Rockland. Rockland would go on to beat Buchanan by final score tonight of 42 to 20, Rockland on top. Let's stay in Rockland as Whitney Wildcats hosted another team from Clovis, the Clovis Cougars. In the first quarter with Clovis trying to add to their lead already, Deegan Rose, he throws into heavy traffic and the pass is intercepted by Hayden Wilder, stopping the threat by Clovis. But Clovis, they would win this one, beating Whitney tonight by final score of 41 to 28. Now it's time to stop the highlights, bring in the band as we do every week. It's time to listen to our high school playbook band of the week this week. It's the 60 member Whitney High School marching band. The band director is Michelle Jameson. Now y'all hit it. All right, now back to more highlights as we pick things up with the Bear River Bruins making the trip down mountain, down the mountain from Grass Valley to face off against the Johansson Vikings in Modesto. On paper, this was projected to be a great game because both teams were undefeated at kickoff. Speaking of kickoff, check out this great kickoff return by Bear River. Caden Cabo, he turned this football game into a track meet 90 yards down the sideline into the land of Quake Six for the Bear River Bruins. Later in the second half, Blake Simmons, who leads Bear River's defense, comes up with the interception. And yes, Bear River, they 
win this one by a final score of 20 to 6 over Johansson. Our playbook cameras were also in series tonight for the Crosstown Showdown. The series Bulldogs taking on the Central Valley Hawks. Both schools are just two miles apart. Needless to say, this game was sold out two weeks ago. Stanislaw County Sheriff Chopper did a flyby before they packed the house. I mean, this was a huge game in series. For the Bulldogs, they had the rough time getting into the end zone, but Donovan Osuna dumped it off to Manuel Mendoza. He picks up the first down for the Bulldogs. Series, they were picking up first down. Central Valley, they were finding the end zone. Here's one right here. And Central Valley over Series in the Crosstown Showdown. Final score tonight, 34 to 8. Well, that's it for the week three from Michelle Dapper, Reservoir High School Playbook crew. I'm Dale Rogers. We'll see you back here next Friday for week four of the high school football season.